tell us about Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Well. Wow! <laughs> it's actually a pretty serious question too. Oh. So. We did this too, also the... With the yeah! Thing. Oh! Yeah. Perfect, perfect! Hang on, gang! <laughs> Say your name. Seventeen. Honon. Joshua. 시험 파악은 됐고 오늘 임무는 숙지하고 왔겠지. 당연하지. 혹시 모르니까 확인부터 해볼까? 오늘 우리 한국 지부와 접선한 팀 이름이 뭐지? 하나, 둘, 셋. Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning. 확실하군. 음. 오늘 그쪽 팀 요원들과 합심하여 K-pop 팬들의 마음을 훔치는 작전을 수행하라고 하던데 자신 있나? 뭐 K-pop 팬들의 마음은 우리가 꽉 쥐고 있으니까 어려운 미션은 아니고. 그럼. 30분 뒤. 오케이. Okay. okay, welcome to Korea Team Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I'm Agent Joshua of Korean Secret Organization 17. I'm Agent Vernon, also a member of 17, and thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First off, can you say hello to your Korean fans? Hello. 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 This is actually our first time interviewing anyone. Wow, so, what an honor to be your first. <laughs> we, I hope we're good guests for you. Yeah, we apologize in advance if things aren't that smooth. <laughs> okay. okay. First question, please tell us about Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's a lot of... So there is a big, big motorcycle cliff jump like you can see here. Right, yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. He did yeah. it for real. There's it's big action sequences. There's comedy in it, drama, lots of emotion between the characters. New characters, so new cool characters new like cool us. New cool characters, yeah. uh, but of course Simon is the regular, yeah. much loved right. fixture. The seventh Mission Impossible. I think it's the best one. And I think it's oh, the yeah. best. It also reminds me, and I'm not just saying this, but one of the things I love about K drama is how varied those shows are that they can be funny, and then they're dramatic, and then they're violent, and then they're sweet. Right. And I think Mission has that mixture of, it takes you everywhere, all over the kind of spectrum of, of emotion. That's exactly what I thought while watching the movie. Yeah. It was amazing. What is the most appealing part of your character? So starting from Hayley. Uh, that she's she's not just one thing. She's not just a, an archetype. She has lots of self-assurance and then tons of self-doubt. She's confident, but then she is very vulnerable. Right, right, um, right, yeah. We don't really know who she is when the film begins, so she goes on a really fun journey. Nice, wow, that's such a good answer. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Did I you think... have to like practice? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I was going to say, I think Benji's best feature is probably his biceps. But... <laughs> <laughs> good answer, too. Uh, for me, my character is dangerous and lethal, and I think she has a side of her that is kind of like punk, you know, that you haven't seen in the other female characters in the franchise. So it's kind of like nice to bring something new to, you know? Well, you're so punk right now. Uh, yeah, I kind of am too today. Yeah. Tiger! Right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you were born in the year of the tiger. Yes, I so, am. So am I. Oh! So am I, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, we understand you have participated as a screenwriter in many works. Did you ever want to write for Mission Impossible? Well, we have such an incredible writer for these films in Chris McQuarrie, who's also the director. But Chris is always very keen that we, we add something of ourselves right. and in the moment we can improvise. Mm. And, you know, because uh, he's very keen on the characters feeling very real. Right. So occasionally I'm able to, to contribute. But when you have a writer as good as McQuarrie, you feel very safe. Mm. Right. Nice. Like since you've like worked with them for so long, like you've been in the series since the third movie, I That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, this is for Palm and Haley. Um, one of the most memorable scenes was the car chase in Rome. Did you practice driving separately and were there any difficulties? Yeah, well, I, I studied drifting. Uh, wow. for five months with this That's amazing crazy. stunt coordinator, Wade Eastwood. So in order to portray kind of the recklessness and the unpredictability of that car chase, we had to be so prepped. It's so fun though. Man, it's insane how you do all your stunts like by your own. That's like really... I mean, you have to with Tom. He's so inspiring, you know? Right. You need to like... you push it yourself <laughs> even more. Jumping off Come the on, yeah. 
cried. It took a couple of takes, right? He did like seven or eight in seven front of us. Seven or eight times? In front of us. I remember we, we had dinner but talking about the day and we were talking about our day. And we were like, so what did you get up to? And he went, oh, I just bit of training for the jump that I'm doing. So I've done 29 skydives today, I think. <laughs> and, to, and he was still, and I was like, if I had done 29 skydives, I'd be flat <laughs> asleep. I'd be fast asleep. And, it's, it's because he loves it so much. Which action scene of yours are you most excited for audiences to see? Oh, there's so the many. Well, my favorite scene, I think, is probably the airport, just because there's so much going on. Right. right. Um, you know, the obvious answer is the, is the cliff jump, because it's the most spectacular. Yeah, there's right, so many. Yeah. They're so amazing. I mean, I can't wait for people to see the fight that I have with Tom as well, you know? Mm, that was crazy. We trained really hard for this one. It's very challenging. It was such a narrow space, you know, to fight in, so we're like, so limited with right. the movement. It was incredible to get to do it with Tom, you know? You were so good in it as well. Thank you. <laughs> I love the, the, yeah, the train sequence, I think. It was terrifying at times to do it, because it's, you know, it's, it's real. We're really kind of up there. And, there's one bit where we had to run across the train carriage as it's on a steep incline, so it goes from oh, yeah, horizontal yeah, to vertical yeah, yeah, yeah. in six seconds. And there's a moment where Ethan says to my character, Grace, like, do you trust me? And I, in that moment, just, just was like, no. no. <laughs> that was your real response. <laughs> yeah, it was real, it was real. <laughs> Here's your last question. Have the three of you watched a finished, completed movie? Yeah, four oh, times. Oh, yeah. Four, four times. times. Four times. Wow. As of wow. Now. We watched the film two days ago. Yeah, it was such an amazing experience. We were awestruck because yeah. the action sequences were crazy. Time flew by so fast. It does for us. go yeah. fast. Yeah. When yeah. the film ended, we were like, well, that was actually pretty short. What was that, like an hour and a half? And it was like <laughs> almost three hours. Yeah. Like, wow, yeah. what? That's and crazy. Then I they were in the edit, and we were asking them, oh, how long is the movie going to be? And Tom's response was so brilliant. He's like, it's as long as it is entertaining. Right. Oh, oh wow. Right, right. We had so much fun. Thanks so much. Oh, we're really excited thank for you. today. Thank you so much. I'm pretty honored that you're interviewing us today. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Thank we you. are interviewing you. Yeah, so congratulations on your thank first you interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, we have a mission. This time we're gonna promote using a game familiar to Korean fans. It's called Debate Night. It's kind of like a balance game. Okay. Today we're gonna try an easy version of Debate Night with you all. I'm gonna give you the topic right away. Saving the people I love versus saving all of humanity. Ooh. That's a deep oh, that philosophical all of humanity. question. Yeah, all it of is. humanity includes the people that I love. So no, I would say no, no, no. It excludes. Oh. 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 Does it include <laughs> animals too? All of humanity? Um, yeah, okay. That can include so animals. Some like human beings, uh, like animals more than human beings. But no, um, no. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> okay. I would save the people I love, and I, I, I'm sorry to everybody in this room, but I could not, in all good conscience, let them go. I just couldn't. Such a hard question. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> who, who would you choose? I choose the people I love. Yeah, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I love all of humanity. Oh, yeah. that's the wow. best one. Oh, that's the best one, yes. yeah. There you go. Oh, I feel bad now. Okay, can we shoot it again? <laughs> okay, the next question is also, um, it's actually a pretty serious question too. Does a straw have one hole or two holes? A very long hole. <laughs> a very long hole. Yeah. I guess I guess it has one with two ends. That's exactly what I think too. It's yeah. one hole with two openings or two ends, as you yeah, said. Yeah. Right, of course. I so. love these kind of questions. That's, I feel like it's a very Benji question. I feel challenged. It's a Benji question. Yeah, yeah, it is. Is. I'm going to be debating that for the rest, rest of, your life. of my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for participating. Okay, we're going to proceed to the next mission. The next mission is mastering K fan service. Is there a K post that you guys know? Oh, oh, you do know. How do you know that? I mean, like this one too. Like oh, the this one, hearts? yeah. This one. The last time I came to Korea, it was this. This the right, finger hearts right, was big. Right, right. But we got back this time, yeah, yeah, and we were told this is now a little bit old fashioned. Yeah, right. And now it's this. Oh no! Yeah. I've been doing this. I'm just. I'm not cool. <laughs> okay, so, we we did this too. Also the with the like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Dark. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Simon. <laughs> but actually, Haley already showed us the pose that we were gonna teach you guys. It, it's called the bear pose. Yeah, yeah. It's like the little bear. Yeah. Yeah. 
words. I love that stuff. It's so great. You know, when you come to a, a country and you don't know the language, you guys are bilingual, which is fantastic. To be able to communicate in some way yeah. means so much, you know. It's crowds, you know, at the premiere last night. So to have a gesture, it creates that sort of right. you know, the closeness right. from a distance. And connection. And connection, yeah. I was really excited to see that we had light sticks as well. I felt, I felt oh yeah, we've made it. We've got a light stick. <laughs> <laughs> right. There is this thing called the Langhe series. So you say I love you in Korean, 사랑해. 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 So the Langhe series is you mix your name into 사랑해. So for instance, you're Simon Peck, so yeah. 팽 랑해. 팽 랑해. 팽 랑해. And you would do like 팽 랑해. Uh, 팽 랑해. Oh, <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> and and palm, music, it would be like 팜 랑해. 팜 랑해. 팜 랑해. 팜 랑해. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> and it would be like 헤일리 랑해. 헤일리 랑해. 헤일리 랑해. Okay. So um, the next time you guys come to Korea, maybe you could do that to your Korean fans. And, and they'll love it. They'll love it. They'll we love should it. be back next year with part two. So oh, we'll come back ready with our Peg Lang Hae. Peg Lang Hae. Okay, I have a question. Am I like, overthinking the thing now? So this is not cool anymore and <laughs> this is cooler? Well, definitely Pam Lang Hae will like, make the fans That's go the crazy. coolest of the yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh. It changes so quickly. Yeah, Everything yeah you so guys good. have to let us know yeah. in advance. We'll call you. you know? We'll call you on the way and yeah. say, "Hey guys, what's uh, what's new?" <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us interview you. Um, how was it today? Oh, so uh, so fun. fun. You guys are to meet you pros too. and not yeah. so natural. Yeah, uh, thank you. We we prepared a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of nervous before the shoot. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Was so cool. Yeah, thank you. Okay, then lastly, can you like say a word to your Korean fans? Yeah, we, we genuinely, genuinely love you guys and uh, are always amazed by the welcome we get here, and we can't wait to come back. So, come to me now. And thank you so much. My first visit here, it's it's meant so much to, to be here and to share this film with the fans. I will never forget this experience of coming here for the first time and um, I'm so excited for everyone to see the film. I hope you love it. We love Korea. We can't wait for you to watch the movie. Do, 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 do. do. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> uh, please continue to love and support Seventeen and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, which has once again returned with satisfying heart-pounding action. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We had so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is my daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so fun. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. It's a Thank you. Thank you. So your second interview next year. Yeah. <laughs>